We are with Rachel Ray, and today we have these adorable puppies. This is my dog, Phoebe, and this is an adorable dog that you can adopt from... Waiting for a home from North Shore Animal League. So you have a line of dog food out, and today we're going to talk about how to throw a dog-friendly party, because obviously... Make sure you have a lot of outdoor space, uh, for obvious reasons. Um, you know, and I think that you have to be... Um, really mindful of what the dog recipes are. My first dog, Boo, she loved butternut squash best. And Isabu won't eat anything, including Peter Luger's steak, unless she's starving. And then how do you tie in the human food with the dog food? You know, tonight you've got a lot of sort of puntastic names going on. Well, that they all came out of the magazine because I cook for my dogs. Mm -hmm. So, you you know, if you're serving mutt balls for the dogs, you're serving meatballs for the, the rest of the guests. Mm -hmm. And at the holidays, actually, we throw a BYOB, bring your own balls. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Bring your own balls party. Then we have uh, lentil balls and swordfish and tuna and chicken and turkey and uh, bacon and beef and veal and gorgonzola. And the mutt balls are mostly uh, grated carrot and a uh, tiny bit of salt and, and ground uh, chicken. So, you know, you can, it's easy to mirror human food to dog food. And then when you're thinking about an outdoor party, you know, obviously if you're doing a party with dogs, you have to kind of keep the food away from the dogs, but how do you sort of set up an event to be dog friendly with food? Well, your your human tables need to be high, so put them up on bricks or a little bit higher off the ground than normal. And my dog, honestly, she never jumps up. up. Most of my friends, their dogs come over to our apartment all the time and they don't, there's no problem. We're, we're very short people. So we put their food on the floor and I always feed the dogs first. Most people feed the dogs after the humans. I feed the dogs before and during the humans. So there's she's no not begging. So she's full. Right. <laughs> so she's ready and then you can just hang and out. And I can sit down and hang out. She's never jumped on the table and tried to eat off my plate in her entire life. She's 11. Wonderful. Well, Rachel, thank you so much for having us and also for showing off these beautiful puppies and really appreciate it. Thank you.